Well, it is still February 24, 2018, California. You guys, how are you doing? You've got so much going on in your state, boy. And it is a wow. I have to tell you, I see you guys living in the state that I, I would be very concerned living there. But for all of us not living in California, Pay attention, because all of this is coming to us. So you had another emergency alert that went off, and I want to thank my subscriber for sending this to me. An emergency alert system had uh, a human failure again. And this was in Kern County, Bakersfield, California. Uh, emergency services alert. Well, you have weekly tests, but... Somehow this test went out as an actual emergency. What was the emergency? Don't know. The emergency just said it was an evacuation alert. So you guys, don't you know that if it was an actual real emergency, there would have been information that would have followed up with that evacuation alert? The type of emergency, where to evacuate, the communities affected? Okay. Um, all right, um, this is what I have to say about this. We are not to have any security anymore. And this human failure that is not just happening with these emergency alerts, you know that Hawaii got their emergency alert, and then a day after Japan got their emergency alert, and emergency alerts are coming out as real, but they're not. Oh, human failure, sorry. No, these are not mistakes. This is part of the plan to get Americans to never feel secure about anything, anything that has to do with humans. Look at what the what is happening now. The FBI had so many tips, and the FBI actually came out and apologized. Sorry, we didn't follow protocol. We could have maybe stopped the Florida school shooting, but oops. We never sent any of those tips to the Miami-Dade FBI office. And those tips were in relation to Nicholas Cruz. Wow. What is our FBI doing? People told the FBI, hey, this guy wants to shoot up schools. And the FBI did nothing. Now we're hearing, I think it's Broward County Sheriff, he coming out, oh, sorry, we did have cops right there, but they decided not to engage. Really? And the first cop, now it's four cops, by the way. I'll be doing a video on the school shootings, but now it's four cops that were there and did not go to engage. They just sat on the school property, what, for five minutes? But the first cop that we learned of it was at retirement age. And he decided to retire because he was suspended without pay. They were going to investigate. Why Why did you just not do anything? Why did you just let Nicholas Cruz shoot up people and you were there and you didn't do anything? And people are saying it was a lack of courage. No, this is deliberate. It is deliberate. And there are many... Uh, agendas that they have got that they have going when we see this kind of see I think one of the agendas is for everyone to accept artificial intelligence because we know artificial intelligence is smarter than humans and that's why we are seeing so many system failures and oops it is a human failure and we've got to have artificial intelligence operating everything because too many humans are just failing and they're stupid and they're careless and they make so many accidents and the police now are just simply not engaging oh they show up at a school shooting but they just don't do anything for five minutes really where to believe this artificial intelligence I guarantee You'll see an awful lot of mainstream media articles 
and videos, they saying, we need artificial intelligence. We need pre-crime algorithms, which we know are operating now, but we need them operating because humans, these cops, as humans, they just can't do the job. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. <laughs> What just hit us? Bay Area rattled by unusual quake swarms. Trains derailed. The BART trains. They derailed. What is going on? The biggest or the uh, strongest earthquake was 3.6 in Danville. You had 32 quakes in the last 24 hours. You had 50 in just in the last couple of days. It's nuts. It wakes us up every night. We have a little dog sleeping on the bed with us, and he freaks out all of the time. Earthquake had been felt within the area, serviced by BART. So, oh, 55 quakes in the last week. Now, I have posted many videos on these ultra-low frequencies being set off more frequently in the Northwest. Washington, Oregon, um, Montana, Idaho, and ultra-low frequencies can cause earthquakes. And I have said in these videos that you guys need to be ready for any kind of disaster that's going to hit. Now, we have tremendous flooding going on from Northwest Texas right on up to Michigan. So everybody needs to prepare, be prepared now because they are using weather as a weapon. So uh, you can come over here and check out these videos if you want to. Uh, you can put ULF in, my, in the search bar on my channel if you haven't seen these, but these ultra-low frequencies, they are being applied for numerous reasons. They can also uh, use these frequencies to induce illness in a whole region. The ultra-low frequencies, well, let's take a look at in telecast right now. Boise, Idaho you've got ultra-low frequencies being set off. Now, these are easy to see when you have precipitation. All of these very defined lines that span out and you can see all of the defined lines which are a, uh, a light blue these ultra-low frequencies have a range that is very wide, affecting the entire region. And it's not just in Boise, Idaho today, and I'm not saying that these frequencies are not being set off in areas where I have shown them before, uh, in Montana, in fact, you can see a little bit of evidence of these ultra-low frequencies right here in Missoula, Missoula um, being shot off. You can see traces of the ultra-low frequencies being set off in the usual areas. You have them almost 24-7. Every time I look, I can see them. So when you see these very defined uh, precipitation, you can bet that ultra-low frequencies are going off. But they are also uh, quite visible in Nevada. Right here.
ultra-low frequencies, sound weapons. And look, I've done this often. I try very hard to get new documents and new articles. Um, monitoring of ultra-low frequency geomagnetic variations associated with earthquakes. I love it when I come across these studies that are posted on our government sites. This is the National Institutes of Health. And I'm sorry, the people who publish these studies, these researchers, these scientists, these observers of, oh wow, we had ultra-low frequencies that came before the earthquakes. Here they're looking at an earthquake in Armenia, California, Guam, but we also know that, wow, ultra-low radio emissions over Haiti before January earthquake, and ultra-low frequencies over Japan before that earthquake. We are in a war. And they are using weather and earthquakes and they can set off volcanoes. With the use of the technology that we have today and ultra-low frequencies are being used. So that swarm in California. And it comes right when you have all of these ultra-low frequencies being set off right in that area. So, and you don't need the ultra-low frequencies to be set off right in Danville, where they experienced the largest earthquake of 3.6. These ultra-low frequencies can be set off far away. And they can, they can target specific areas with the use of these weapons. So here, I'm wired, Navy patent sound weapon, powerful weapon to use sonar to generate acoustic remote cavitation, a big pressure bubble that would destroy everything from torpedoes to mines. And this is what it says in the patent. Method includes the steps of identifying a remote target location, generating at least two acoustic beams, each at a high power output from the underwater acoustic source. Well, they have land acoustic sources but controlling the generated acoustic beams to intersect with each other at the remote target location and thereby create a destructive cavitation field at the intersection of the beams in these videos. In, uh, I, I don't know what video it was, but I'm quite sure that I mentioned the intersecting beams that I show you. And then I say those intersecting beams that's when the force becomes very powerful and very destructive. Very destructive. Um, so, what else does it say? A pure acoustic energy to destroy things. Intense acoustic power of the sonar sources. It can damage, it can inflict damage on underwater objects. How many videos have I posted saying they're killing the whales and the beaches and the dolphins and they're beaching themselves and the fish kills and then there's a lot of people who say it's Fukushima. Radiation affects life. Um, slowly in that it kills kind of incrementally. Radiation does not kill thousands of fish instantly, but these acoustic weapons can. The patent says, in view of the above detailed description, it is anticipated that the invention herein will have far reaching applications other than those of underwater destruction of undesirable objects. Gee, 
what could those applications be? Harp secret weapon used for weather modification and electromagnetic warfare, earthquakes. This article, our Air Force redeploys X-37B for climate chaos, earthquake, tsunamis, inducing orbital harp weapon. This was back in 2015. All right. And this is a very good article, and it has a lot of hyperlinks with a lot of information. Um, earthquakes, think about it. OK, well, earthquakes, how did they happen? Sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust. And it's usually caused by movement along the fault lines or volcanic activity, which results in these seismic waves. Well, we have frequencies now. We have sound weapons. We have ultra-low frequencies. We've got harp. We've got so many frequencies operating from all different sources that can create these seismic waves. But ultra-low frequencies are known to do it. So when it is man inducing these earthquakes, there are certain signatures that you can look for, like these clear ultra-low frequency signatures right here on radar. But when you have these earthquakes, how deep are they? Because one of the signatures is shallow depth. So here, the earthquake in Danville, the 3.6, 5 kilometers or 0.5 kilometers, very, very shallow. And these earthquakes created by ultra low frequencies or harp or however, whatever uh, method they're using, when you go to look at the depth, it's usually 10 kilometers. All right, I'm going to end with this. Swarm of 200 earthquakes, rocks, Yellowstone's super volcano. Are these people crazy enough to set off our super volcano in Yellowstone? You bet they are. They are. Something is causing the Yellowstone super volcano to stir. A swarm of 200 earthquakes has been detected since February 8. Hmm. What's the depth? Five miles. 10 kilometers. And Yellowstone is right smack in this area where they are setting off ultra low frequencies. So yes, everybody needs to be prepared for every possible disaster. Look at what's happening in this area where they are flooding out people from Texas to Michigan, and I'm posting a video in a little while because I've captured an awful lot happening in this so-called natural storm that is creating so much flooding. Yeah, we're at war, guys. This is no joke. They will stop at nothing to destroy people. But if you look at radar on virtually every site, you can see the use of frequencies. If you know what to look for, if you know if you can detect the ripples and the very defined uh, precipitation. Yes, frequency is being used. And they will be holding this rain right smack in this area because you know what? This area is not part of mega regions. 
they're going to be flooding people out. Destroying people with weather and unfortunately we still can't get through to people that we are at war.